I got my notes ready for this one. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys how my style has adapted since I have big chopped around two years ago now. So you know how at certain times, like if it's a special occasion, you might wear your hair up or certain outfits, you might wear your hair up because it just looks more flattering. It's kind of like that with short hair all the time because your hair's always up off your neck. So it's like constantly having an updo. <laughs> The most flattering styles for short hair, in my opinion, are strapless, tube top, spaghetti strap, off the shoulder, v-neck, square neckline, sweetheart neckline, stuff like that. Basically any kind of top or dress that is going to show off your collarbone and your shoulders. It looks so stunning when you have short hair. If it is a concern to you that you might be perceived as more masculine with short hair, then I definitely recommend adding in some light colors into your wardrobes, like whites, pastels. That's going to add in a feminine touch. So since I have cut my hair, I make it a habit of wearing jewelry rings, necklaces, but especially earrings. Jewelry stands out so much more when you don't have any kind of hair that's gonna block it or distract it. So this is a great opportunity to really pay attention to these small details because they're gonna complete the overall look. For winter, turtlenecks and short hair are everything. <laughs> turtlenecks, I feel, are one of those outfits that look so much better when your hair is in an updo versus straight down. So because we're part of the TWA short hair gang, our hair is always up. Even though turtlenecks kind of go against what I was telling you guys just before about showing off your collarbones and your shoulders, they are so, so flattering for short hair especially because turtlenecks just always give the appearance of being polished and looking poised and together. They look very professional. Personally, I love a good all black outfit, especially with a turtleneck because it gives me very much model on the go vibes. It's super clean, it's super simple, but it, the look is really effective. Winter is really easy because it's all about layering a turtleneck under everything. Turtlenecks will always make you look put together. Having accessories to switch it up like bucket hats, turbans, scarves, etc. are really really cool because they're going to completely change the vibe. In the info card, I already created a video about easy ways to switch up your TWA throughout the week and different styles and accessories that you can use, such as the ones I just listed, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. In general, for shorter hair, I definitely prefer more fitted clothing than clothing that looks kind of heavier. You may have noticed that in having short hair, there are certain outfits that look different on you than they did when you had hair. Now, they could be more flattering or less flattering. Some outfits I find, especially when, when they're loud, I've found that when there's a lot of volume on the bottom, you need some volume that matches up top. So for example, I wore this dress for my birthday last year. I feel like this dress was very loud and very bright that it needed some length up top to balance it. Otherwise, I would have felt like it looked like the dress was wearing me. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. So in conclusion, the five things that I love to incorporate into my closet are one, fitted turtlenecks in basic colors, white, black, and gray. Two, jewelry, necklaces, rings, earrings especially. Three, collarbone and shoulder exposed fitted clothing. Four, whites, pastels, light colors, and some monochrome options. And five is some hot girl confidence. You really gotta own it. It's so easy to feel insecure sometimes about not having super long, thick, gorgeous, flowing hair. Once in a while, I think back to when I first got my big chop and I think, wow, did I make a mistake? And obviously the answer very quickly is not nah, sis, you straight. But to me personally, what I've gained since cutting my hair outweighs anything that I feel I might have lost. As repetitive and a little bit cheesy as it sounds, I do feel free. Whether you cut your hair because you wanted to, or because you had to, or maybe you had no say in the matter at all, short hair is so, so stunning. And in the world we live in, it truly takes a special kind of woman to rock short hair. So just remember you fit that mold. But of course, people, dress how you want. These are just little things that I've noticed that I pay attention to now. But y'all, wear the sweatpants, wear the hoodies, do what you want to do. These are not rules to live by. You can absolutely wear dark, loud colors. You could wear any kind of hemline, neckline, anything you want. Because all you really need is number five. That's that hot girl confidence. I'm telling you. You could wear anything. You could be in a potato sack with some stilettos and no hair. And maybe if you own it, 
I mean, what could they really say, right? I still very much step out with confidence in some baggy unfitted clothes, some sweatpants, a hoodie, and, and not an ounce of water on this 4C hair, honey. So please do as you please. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly do appreciate it and I really hope that it helped you in some kind of way. Feel free to leave me some video suggestions if there is a topic you'd like to hear me discuss, especially in regards to short hair or any kind of videos that you'd like to see from me in the future. And for now, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys, stay safe.